What's up guys? A couple of weeks ago I made a video about making a watch strap. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link here. This is the strap I made. Honestly, I was just not satisfied with it. I think it is the stitching line that is making the whole strap look like crap. So this morning I decided to make another one, but I didn't make a video. Okay, let's put this away. This is what I made today, last week. Let's do it again. This is what I made today, a new strap. There are many differences from the last one. I didn't put any stitching, just a plain strap. I made this part here a lot more thicker than the one before to match the thickness of my watch. And on this part here, I made a flap thing here underneath the buckle. It might not have any functions, I just think it looks better. <laughs> I used the same vegetable tanned leather as the last one, but I applied three coatings of Neat's Foot Oil. It makes the leather look darker. And I applied one coating of this mink oil. They say this will waterproof the leather. Okay, let's attach it to the watch. I'm going to show you how this neat food oil darkens the leather. This strap here is original. So when I apply the first layer of coating, let it dry. And I'm going to apply a second coating over here. Then a third coating on this side here. So after you let it dry for about 10 minutes, you see the difference. This part here, the original color, after the first layer of coating, it darkens a little bit and it becomes even darker after two coatings. So this is what happens when you apply three coatings of Neat's Food Oil. Let's see if mink oil waterproofs the leather. I have this piece of leather. This is mink oil. I'm going to put a coating on the right side of leather. Then I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, now let's see if mink oil really waterproofs the leather. So I applied mink oil on this side, but not this side. So no mink oil, yes mink oil. I'm going to drop water on this side first and see what happens. Okay. Let's see if I can wipe it off. I leave some mark here. I'm going to drop water on the side which has mink oil coating. You see the difference? It leaves a little tiny mark here. Do it again. Okay. It seems like mink oil really waterproofs the leather. One good thing about mink oil is that it doesn't darken the color of the leather like the Neat's Food Oil does, and it waterproofs. So if you want to preserve 
the original color of your vegetable tan leather and you want some sort of coating I think mink oil is a very good choice however if you want to darken your leather then least food oil gets the job done okay thank you thank you for watching